So I'm over here packing up a brickling order. I was going to get another bag, put some things in. And I turn around to this. So back in yeah, August, I did a video on uh, the uh, the Fox Master Builders Lego Show, and I was asked to, by the producer to recommend some people. So I think I recommended 15 or something like that, and I did recommend Iceberg, and I sent him this message on August 9th. So he made it. So that's pretty cool. It's not because of me, obviously. He had to go through a whole screening process. All right, Saturday night, uh, we were uh, out of town for Friday, my, celebrating my middle son's ninth birthday. Went down to Appleton, Wisconsin, stayed in a hotel and went to a sports park and uh, um, went to the mall there. So we went to the Target at the mall and they have a deal there where you spend 50 bucks on Lego, you get a $10 gift card. So I made two separate orders got 20 bucks back on all this these were $16 so there's five of them take four bucks off of each for the 20 bucks so we got them for 12 bucks each basically and paid full price for these there is uh, two of the dog sitters uh, bath guy and the monkey king in here and then I got one of the nephews and then a uh, two uncle Scrooges I think I know uncle Scrooge isn't rare but I figure you can't have enough of them and then we went to the Dollar Tree and next to the mall, everything's a dollar. These are all one dollar DVDs, sealed DVDs. So um, yeah, they're probably not the best deal. Uh, I'm not sure what they're worth, but <clears throat> got them. Here's some Costco supplies. And then I went to GameStop. My son wanted to go there. And I always asked, do you have any Lego promotional things? And they said, no, but you can have this. So <laughs> it's like, sure. I'll just probably put this for a dollar at one of my flea market sales. Along with these, I'll probably put these, you know, three bucks. Uh, some of them, some of them I'll put on Bricklink, I th I'm sure. Uh, but yeah, I think this one is actually pretty good. Probably the best one, um, I would think. It's a movie. It's 78 minutes. Got three of those, two of those, five of the next one nights, one and one. All right, it is... Um, Saturday night after we got back we have these Bricklink orders I'd like to get packed up that we did receive since Friday morning and um, so we have one going to France and we have one going to Pro LC. Anyone know what that is? Alright here we go there's 45 unique items 239 total items so they put a note at the bottom, they said to try to build a small building. So, um, yeah, let's go ahead and get all this stuff. Pull that out of the, I got a good draw number 17 is the first one. Getting some new Ninjago knives. Or, just one of them. Uh, 52. One of those. Don't cut yourself. Uh, 87. See, this is why I need a cart. I have to walk back and forth. Back and forth. Uh, 271 is 4. So if you're not subscribed to Pro, Pro Lego Channel, I would suggest you subscribe. He is actually the reason I started my YouTube channel. Uh, one of my favorite YouTube watches, Blind Bag Fridays, are always a hit. And um, what's funny is uh, I was joking that you should laminate your minifigure checklist uh, in his comments well, you know, last winter, a while back, about a year ago. And uh, I actually do that, so uh, not really a joke, I guess, but I actually do that. So then... Let me pull this up. I get a message through Mr. Bricklink here. Um, says that you're new to Bricklink and 
was wondering, said, in one of your videos I just saw you pull out a stack of laminated minifigure sheets. Where can I get a set of these from? So, I actually went on BrickLink and bought all the collectible minifigure sheets, or I had some of them, but I had to buy some of the older ones, and I personally laminated them. Um, and I was, if you've seen that, there's a video that I made, one of my first videos. Uh, it's kind of the reason I started BrickLink, to, so I could put out that video, or started YouTube so I could put out that video. So, um, yeah, uh, if you want to do that, you just need a laminator and to collect all the sheets. And that's it. Okay, so we're on 357.2. Whoa, almost lost that drawer. When it's backwards, it doesn't do well when you just pull it out then try to catch the lip. It'll just come right down, so gotta remember that. Two of those. Actually, it's probably best that I just move this over here. And over here. There. We're at the very edge of the table. Proximity to everything we need. Kind of. 850 is two. It's right behind me. One. Two. Um, eight five two is twenty. That's right over here. So we gotta do some counting here. There we go. Got that. Sometimes I use the check boxes. I'm not too worried about it. Ten sixty eight is one. So um, more information on this. This is a $22 order, and I actually gave them a gift for being one of my favorite YouTubers. I do that from time to time. I'll sometimes send packages, but I didn't really have anything to send that I um, have. I mean, maybe a few things. I could send them blind bags, but I did that last time. So I decided to uh, give them a credit to the store. And so basically all this, he just basically paid for me the cost of shipping for all this, so which will be a couple of dollars. So that's uh, my gift to Pro Lego Channel for being a great inspirational YouTuber and getting me on this journey actually, starting the channel. So thank you. And here we go. We need to count again 20 of these colors. My dump was perfect. I just dumped out a certain amount and I got 20. Thirteen thirty-four. We almost have to go to the other side of the wall. So just one of those. Thirteen thirty-five is two. Fourteen eighteen is two. Uh, Fourteen forty three is one. Fourteen thirty five, fourteen fifty seven. I'll try to get two at a time sometimes. 57, yep. 57, So I'm definitely looking for a cart. <laughs> you just saved so much time. 1501 is 2, 1506, all of them. Oh, okay. Was it these white ones? I left that out. Okay, so two of those, one of the plates, and we're going to assume that's the correct count. Because we never make mistakes here. Not true. It's not true. I would like to see one Bricklink seller with over a thousand orders say they never had a mistake. It happens. <clears throat> 235 is one. Let put this away. And this drawer is now empty. We'll be going backward. 
there's a lot of backward drawers on this side of the wall. I haven't got I haven't gotten over here in a while to to correct them, so to fill them. A lot of these are pretty good right now. Most of these are turned the right way. There's a few empty ones here and there. Um, but yeah, once you get to about the 1100s, they start getting more where they have room in them. That one has a space. That one has a space, but the shield fell into it. Alright, there's the order. It is uh, uh, 239 total pieces, 45 lots. These are the used pieces. A couple barrels and some frying pans and things like that. Um, yeah, so this is, apparently he's going to be building a yellow building. Uh, let's see. Small building to my town. So I'm not sure what his town looks like. Uh, maybe I'm not seeing it. Or it doesn't show it. I don't think he shows it. But uh, he does some cool pictures on Instagram sometimes that I like. <laughs> um, but either way, these are going to be going out Monday. So there you have it. So I made an order on eBay. There were some auctions going on here. Lego Movie 2 blind bags, a lot of 55, 77 bucks, a lot of 60, 83 bucks, and a lot of 50 of them for 70 bucks. Divide it all up, $1.38 a blind bag. So I'm over here packing up a brickling order. I was going to get another bag, put some things in, and I turn around to this. Yeah, it's moving quite slowly. There's like, there's some hole up here that we need to patch up. It's happened before. Would you like to be our pet? Huh? He can be, the, he can be our mascot. For the store. Yeah, he's real slow. He won't, he's not moving fast. Can I try and touch him? Touch him. There, yeah, I've already sold the Dubak and the Sand Trooper for sale for two days. And I was checking, it was sold for 25 like I expected. Now, uh, it's not always that I try to get the, you know, highest value on things, which in this case I didn't, because if I look it up, um, <clears throat> someone wants 55 for it, someone wants 30, just the Dubak, 38. Um, so, you know, that's why, here's mine right here that just sold. Let's see if there's any comparables that actually sold. Let me just update the listing to have uh, 4501, which is the, the set number. So someone sold that with those two guys for 38. Looks like that's the only time it's ever sold. So, uh, finally, me, this store, Pops Block Shop, uh, put it for a considerably good deal. And it sold. Look at that. All right, it's Monday morning. Um, so uh, here's a lot of Brooklyn quarters. They are all ready to go. There they are. The Monday eBay order is going out. Pretty light load. Okay, here is the weekend mail for Friday and Saturday mail. I'm not sure which came what day, but um, these are all eBay orders, I'm pretty sure. I know that's for sure Bricklink order. I'm 90% sure it says Bricklink. So um, uh, let's open them up. All right, here's the Bricklink order number one. Got a tie from the Toy Brick Brigade. Um, I can complete this guy that I've had sitting around for a while. Now that I have his shield or his armor with the sticker on it. I think it's on both sides, not sure. Uh, but this is about a $90 order here. Um, it's very small, but it's all mini figure parts, so there's a lot of good things that I needed all on my wanted list. Nothing no, I didn't sometimes if if I only have a small order, like 10, 15 bucks, I'll go through other parts in the store and just throw random things on there that I think I could use. Not with this one, that there's like 70 some items on my list, so 
lots of stuff will be completed with this order. And this one is from a minifig store, galore store, let me just check. So this, this order here, my fifth order in the store, 33 unique items, 60 different lots from a minifig galore store out of South Dakota. So uh, they sent me a message and I placed the order thanking me for the, the large order and say they watched the video. So there's a shout out to a minifig galore store. They have very good prices on minifigures. Um, I did buy out a lot of them, like a Red Hood, $2.14. The Glam Metal Batman, two thirty nine. dollars You know, these are not with the, the accessories, so I did buy the guitars he had for the Batman, among other things. So, really good stuff here. Um, so that back to the order. Stupid camera does weird camera things. There it is. A lot of minifigures. Let's say 113 some dollars. So, um, I don't necessarily like buying CMS without the accessories, but. Um, it depends on the price. I may just part them out, some of them, or I may give them a different uh, accessory and put them at my local sales or Lego convention sales. So there it is for that and that. And then moving on, um, this is a dimension set thing. Um, I think there's like four or five minifigures in here. I paid $12 shipped for all of this. It was a best offer situation. Um, there's a Unikitty. Oh, there's part of Unikitty. She's in here. Somewhere. Oh, there she is. Um, I'll be parting out all these pieces to the store. That's a pretty cool set. Uh, some cool pieces in there. Uh, this one, again, most of these Ebays that I've been getting are just best offer, not auctions. I think I got this for $25. It has a complete Headless Horseman, Batman with Black Wings. It has part of the guy, the spooky girl, I guess. Has the sleepy guy. Decided to throw his teddy bear with him. I think I have one. It has a ghost rider in there. So, you know, once you start seeing what's in here, the value just in my head just adds up, adds up. Like, yeah, oh, it has a royal guard. You know, has the body and the bear skin. I have a bunch of the heads. They're pretty common. I'm sure I'll sell um, probably 80 bucks for everything in here. I'll sell it for somewhere around there. Um, and these were $25 for 11 They had one old one, Daisy Duck. So just over two bucks each, not not too bad. Uh, these were about 80 cents a minifig. There are a lot of Chima, but I don't necessarily like to buy Chima or sell Chima too much. What I'll do with these, I'll put them in lots of four, because I've been getting low on uh, lots of four, but like the Brat Tour guy, I'll sell him single. He will be single, that's the wrong head. For the headgear. Um, a couple of these I'll sell single, but mostly I'll put in groups of four. Um, this was from all that went the same seller. I paid 28 bucks for all of this. So that alone is a good deal. <laughs> um, and I, I don't generally go for Duplo, but I I wanted this lot. And then they had, you know, they had multiple Lego lots. Uh, they had a couple more I didn't buy because they were just things I didn't really want or too much. Um, so one of these and then you know so what do you get basically six bucks times four no five six yeah about six fifty each bag if you want to look at it that way there's not too much good in here but there's a couple nice things a cavalry guy um but yeah i'll definitely do well with these duplo animals things like that so that's the mail for the weekend so now that I went through the weekend mail, that just sits there for now. <laughs> um, and I, after I go through the mail, I usually move things over to here. Um, now all of this, some of this is from our advent that we didn't finish, the kids didn't finish. Um, but this is stuff I want to get processed and put on a BrickLink. Um, obviously some of it makes its way here because there's not enough room, <laughs> uh, which is starting to add up again. Um, that that's an old computer I have to wipe the hard drive and get rid of it's just sitting there which I could do that anytime take me about 20 minutes probably all these are in here now and there's still the backlog in there 
stuff I gotta get to. So yeah, we keep it moving. So I just wanna point out something about this helmet. So I have my laminated handy dandy sheets here. As you can kind of see, there you go. So it comes on the Series 6 Roman Soldier and on the Series 10 Roman Commander, that, that top piece comes off. It's the same exact mold, uh, but they are different colors. So how do you know which is the right color? Because they're very, very similar. Um, the thing is, uh, in this lot of minifigures that I'm going through, there's, there's a few Series 6 guys in here, like this bandit. So, um, I know that, oh, there and there was two of these pajama guys in this lot here as well. So I know that this is the right color for Series 6 most likely. And let me pull it up to show you. Let's see, what, okay, so here's, here's the actual headgear. Comes on uh, two minifigs. This is just just about, this is making this clip just to clarify that uh, if you're trying to sell on BrickLink, you definitely need to make sure you're um, putting the right colors of things. So there's a metallic silver and there's a flat silver. So the one I have is the Roman Soldier. It's definitely metallic silver. It's more shiny, if you can tell. Um, and the flat silver is more of a lighter gray, I guess, color. Um, let me see, I think I might have one in my store. I can just grab it and show you. Yep, I have two of them for the Series 10 in U29. Here we go. So, I'll just leave that open so I know where I put it back in. Um, So the, this one is way. Well, you can see you can see the difference. Shiny, not so shiny. It's more. I guess it's a darker gray. It seems it's darker than the than the uh, metallic silver one. Metallic shiny, flat silver. It's flat. Doesn't shine. I guess. So they're something to just to watch out for. Sometimes with colors can be. Sometimes if you just get this helmet, you don't know which one it is. Um, but hopefully this will help you if you ever run into that. Does anyone know whose head that is? It's certainly not the Series 6 Butcher. Um, I have a little collection going on up here. Quite dusty. Let's check this guy out. There it is. Same head. Here are both Monday and Tuesday's mail. Uh, these are all eBay packages. And three BrickLink orders. I think that's BrickLink, we'll see. Okay, we'll start with the BrickLink orders. This was the one I wasn't sure of. Um, got these for 20 bucks total with the shipping and everything. There's a couple Moanas in here. There's a couple other princess uh, dresses. Um, I think that's an Aunt Anna in a dress, I'm not sure. So this is a really good find. Definitely make some on that. Got this for 28 bucks. I just checked. Um, it was like a buy now best offer. That's why I offered on it. Um, and there's some other random goodies in here. Like a Bulbasaur Pokemon thing. Yeah. Um, this one was like a... Hundred and twenty some dollars I got in the auction. It had a lot. Of, it said it had hundred ninety four mini figures. So there's supposed to be hundred ninety four in here. They never look like there's that many, but there usually is. Uh, but there's some good stuff. Oh, series six. I just got him all together. I had a shield and a spear. I just didn't have the torso, so I'll be taking that immediately, getting him ready for sale. And then this is all dimensions. I they wanted seventy dollars for it. And I offered 40, I believe, and it was free shipping. Um, so a lot of figures in there, and a lot of parts. So good stuff. And then I have uh, bricks on the dollar order. I, I went there for two things to complete the skiff, the old uh, Star Wars set in the last video, or it might be in this video, I don't remember. Missing one of those from the side. 
that's it. And then um, also this is to the soccer bus. Where is that? Right here. The soccer bus is all I needed for that. It's an old gray. So they'll complete that and possibly part it out. Stuff for minifix stands, some other uh, Nexonite books. They've been selling those really well on eBay. Um, and then this is from a lot of bricks. I think order number 92 or 93. Got the hot dog guy's face. Build him. Apparently I got a plate from there. I didn't update my wanted list in time apparently. <laughs> no big deal. That actually looks like it's light bluish gray. To check on that. But either way, lots of goodies. Oh, I almost forgot. There's one more. This is a $12.99 eBay buy it now thing, free shipping. Uh, it has a lot of things not like them. Uh, but there was enough in there. I'm not sure what I saw in there to warrant buying it. Um, oh, I think there's, this is this, all these guys from that, that battle pack were in there. You might recall. It's this guy. So I have this new app here called the Brick Biz that, um, let's see here, MN Space Brick Space Slayer on YouTube if you search that. Uh, I did a YouTube video on it and it's an app. You actually have some, it's free for some things but I actually paid $14.99 for a whole year subscription to it uh, because it actually is quite uh, useful with BrickLink. It actually syncs everything up pretty, I mean, real time. You just refresh it and it, it, I get an order, I refresh this, it comes right through it. It'll show all your current orders there, do the drive through. I haven't really used it too much. Um, you can, you know, so I'm going to attempt to part out a set with it. I have uh, these I want, I would like to do. Get the, the light. Eight of those. All right, so here are eight of the Sparkle Baby sets. Seven dollars each. I paid for them. Um, is that fifty-six dollars? Am I doing math correctly? Uh, that's just the parts. So the part, you know, then you gotta take some percentage off of that. Of my sales. Uh, not including the minifigures as normal. I put a few on BrickLink uh, after the fact, but right now I'm just gonna separate them out. And we will part out the rest. Um, and that that app that I was showing you, let me just uh, upload. It says it went through. I trust it. Um, let me just show you this app. Uh, here it is. So the best, I guess, the best thing about this is basically this is a part out helper. I'm not sure you can actually part out from this app. I wasn't. 100% sure, like I said, I haven't been on it too much. I didn't really, that video I didn't pay too much attention to. I kind of watched a few minutes and then downloaded it and tried it for myself. So this will tell you what drawer they're in, but there's no way to like upload on this page. So I was just messing around. You can, it's app friendly. So you can say you completely parted that part out, whatever, or you didn't complete it. Um, but either way, you, there's no way for you to upload from this page. So it's great because before I was going into the last page and if I were to hit enter while I'm pulling these drawer numbers like 368, it would upload everything and I can't, you can't undo it. So this is actually very helpful in my case because I actually did that one time. I was just parting out one large figure set, the Chirrut Imwi, whatever, Star Wars guy. And I accidentally hit enter when I was looking up drawer numbers and it all got uploaded. And it was only a hundred some parts, so it only took me about 20 minutes to get correct everything, but still 20 minutes I didn't want to waste doing that. So um, I guess that's what this app will be. I'll definitely be using it for. Okay, so here are six of the Toy Story 4 sets you see here. Just the pieces. Uh, two of these I got for $8 each and the other four for 15 on a recent sale. Uh, the, the, when they had the uh, Michael's price match, I did a video on that. Uh, I got 60% off Toy Story 4 sets. So, um, so yeah, that's uh, 60 plus 8, 8, about well, $75 I paid for these sets. And this is just the parts. These minifigures sell on average like $7 each for each of these girls, and then Buzz is like 6 So, 
very very good set to part out for the prices I paid for sure even at fifteen dollars um, probably should have bought at least four or five more sets because um, these are some good very good minifigures she needs her skirt on but the bull peep with her staff this is without the staff in there either which is like a two dollar and fifty cent piece um, I don't know if they're I don't see she doesn't really have an accessory they're kind of gabby gabby I guess that she at least the, that not anything they show here or uh, any of the parts so either way she might get something I like to sell things with accessories you know just uh, makes it more sellable but um so anyway uh, let's hit this upload and it went through the store is currently closed on Christmas here today is Christmas Day our kids are having their uh, game time um, so I can't really let's see I can put my password in I just unlocked the store So now we're up to 105.7339 lots available. So these aren't adding very many parts. This is like between these three sets, it's it's a total of about 2,000 parts just under that. So and there's no focusing. Can you see me? There it goes. So I'll part out the rest of those, and I'm trying to get to those before. 4 o'clock, it's 3.23. And the final set of the day, seven of these. I got these at Walmart um, in July this year for about five bucks. I think they were five bucks each on clearance. I got them for, so 35 bucks. It's not, there's no minifigs, so just for the pieces. It's not the best part out, but adding some more variety to the store. Let's make sure it goes through. It did. All right, so we will just start, start December 26th off with that many parts, 100, almost 106,000, and uh, 7,369 lots. So right now I have no, um, I have no orders to pack up because I'm closed for the day on Christmas Day, and probably open tonight before I go to bed, and then um, so tomorrow I'll get right to listing more stuff on here. So I bet you're going to hit over 7,500 tomorrow because I have a lot of stuff ready to go. All right, so here is the mess. Instruction books could be donated. Not sure who would need them, but that's where they'll go. Every small drawer all the way up until 886 has parts in them all used up. Um, and then you'll start seeing a lot turned around. So. So a lot there. I have a ton over here that I've, that I could use. Not a ton, but I'd say 25% of the ones over here are turned around, or 20%. And then need to number number some more. If I do part out a big set, I want to do the river boat race soon, and that queen, whatever you call her, castle. Get those off of there. Um, so I do have room up here now. I got rid of those two cases. I'll show you where those went here in a minute. Um, and I was going to put it on my desk over there uh, eventually, and I'm not ready to do that, but I cleared off uh, Sparkle Babies that were here, and that car set that was here. This will be out of here, this Advent's done. All these guys. <clears throat> um, so that is that. Still have a lot, and a lot. Not to mention all these big sets. I need to part out, not all these, not the Harry Potter, but... There's some back there. So here's the upstairs room. Put these two here for now. And I helped organize. So we got some creative space upstairs. Um, this is almost all empty there. And here's a look at some sets. Some mocks. Not to mention the Minecraft world. It hasn't been added to or worked on in quite a while. It was destroyed completely and I had to fix it for it. 
You fixed it? Nice. Well, that's a good brother. How'd it get destroyed? You were, were you shooting Nerf bullets at it? No. There are a ton of Minecraft figures in here. And you just look. There's a whole bunch of them. Wow. Nice stuff. And there's a video of that. This I did about a year ago if you wanted to see it up close when it was all together. It still looks pretty good. Get a little bit of room. Naughty, naughty seller. This will be my last order with this store. Um, yeah, I'm not one that always reads the terms. So, I only charge $1.50 to cover handling and shipping costs, plus 3.5% of the total invoice to cover my store's overhead cost. What? You're running a store. Why charge $1.50 if you're going to charge 3.5% as well? It's ridiculous. And to ensure I don't make this mistake again, you click there, dislike, charges fees. Boom. So if Lego, if you're listening, now that you've taken control of Bricklink, get rid of these ridiculous fees. Some people think, oh, I can put add fees because there's an option. Just because there's an option, they think it's okay. Oh, now I have this set um, completed. Just got this piece from Bricks on the Dollar. And <clears throat> just looking it up to see what I'm going to do. Because um, a part out is not that good, I don't think. 3406, let's look at it. 3406, and then it's used. Uh, 26 bucks on the high price, 17 normally. That's what the parts sell for, 17. Uh, so if I look at the sets, $25 is the average price. It's, it's only sold once new, 40 bucks. So it's probably not going to sell for 20, maybe it'll sell for 20 bucks, which is better than the part out value. Um, but I may put this on eBay and try to get 25 to 34. Let's, let's look at it. 3406. Uh, Lego and somebody has it for 24 so that's all a brand new one for 40 so let's look at see if it's sold for anything it's a lot like 50 bucks brand new sold for four bucks use I might just I'm thinking I'm gonna part it out just looking at this it probably won't sell this one sold for the best offer. Yeah, I'm just going to part it out. Well, I went ahead and switched um, how I pay for things. We were using a Capital One for travel, um, but looking it over, this is actually pretty comparable because you get points to buy more stuff on eBay. So um, <clears throat> and we're using the Capital One for personal and the business. So this is just going to be all business. It'll help us to yeah, just monitor things easier. Um, having separate accounts for everything, not having to go back and look at the other ones. So that's why we got this. We have some more Duplo coming. I'm hopefully going to get my first uh, section of my new minifigure stand completed uh, the first week of January. So watch out for that to see how that turns out. Well, I'm just going through the remnants of that lot that had the Moss Easley Cantina with Greedo that was not complete and the Skiff Guard set. I just recently completed on this video. <clears throat> if you look at the previous video, I think you'll see more information on the everything I got from that. Um, this is an elves dragon thing. I'll part that out. This I know what set it goes to. It has a flag on it. it says 69 on it that I just put on my in my store a little bit ago. Got some of these, and then this is only in uh, this set on top of Yoda's hut there. So I found some parts that go to that. We'll be adding. And I have to figure out these friends. Not sure what I'll do with them, but let me just do flag 69. There it is, because I remember putting this up and looking at the set. Um, let's click on one set. It's like a 20 cent piece, I think. <clears throat> and then this is the Polar Scout. I remember just seeing that that rock was in there and the front of that was in there. So we'll get those added right away. Here's one Christmas gift I got from my wonderful wife. 
a foot warmer and uh, like an elevated footrest. It's been so nice because I'm in a basement. It's usually about 60 degrees down here in the winter, sometimes less. And then I got a new chair. I won't dare show you the old one. It was a $5 thrift store find. I used it for about three years and it was really good. It started coming apart though. <laughs> um, this is very nice. And this is a heating, uh, infrared heating pad as well, um, which it's kind of has to be hooked up, but don't mind it. Only on the cold days I'll use it a lot, but it's uh, very nice. Something that we, I much needed. Well, I've just entered uh, this fantastic beast set. Um, it's actually quite a big part out and I've been waiting for it for a while again this one would not be fun to have to go through most of the parts are in here somewhere in other ones I had room this a couple of these but these are the ones that already have drawers I just don't know which drawers they are there's some of these I could probably look like there's the red tiles right there okay so we did it it came through and so this was like a very inexpensive eBay find and I'm parting this set out to $33. Adding, I'm just adding him to the to Bricklink so extremely good find for this. All right Thursday has come to a close. We've did what I expected to do and more. So we have boom. Lots of stuff. 